want y'all to see how gorgeous and long her hair is so she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> You're good, you can check. I don't see her. No, I'm really so self-conscious. Okay. I'll see. Yeah. Okay. You're sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you hungry? No, I think digest. Really weird. <laughs> What's up? I'm Sarah LaFay. Welcome to my channel and today I have a very special guest. This is Ashley Mia. She is an amazing photographer and YouTuber here in Chicago and she is also a, what, would you say heat trained hair natural kind of? Yes, definitely okay. heat trained. I've been in flat iron my whole life. So really? Yeah. Oh, like me. Okay. <laughs> so I wanted to ask her quite a few questions because as you guys know, I only know so much about heat trained hair and I feel like your hair is beautiful and I would love to know yeah. your secrets about, about how you maintain and grow your hair. I have my questions on my phone so I will just get started. So have you ever put chemicals or done like a keratin treatment? No, so I've never done that. Um, it's only just been like wash and condition really well. Okay. And then uh, blow dried and flat iron. Right. Okay. Yeah. What, what age were you when you started getting your hair like straightened? Okay, so I was about seven. I was okay. about seven okay. when I got my first like little blowout. I I really thought I was doing it. Okay, <laughs> y'all, my little blowout, and then the next day, poof. Okay, mm -hmm. because you know you're a kid, yeah, yeah. you're running in recess, you're doing all this stuff. Water. So it really had to start getting trained. I used to, my mom used to use pink lotion. Let's okay. Still pink lotion. Okay. Um, my mom too. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, ever since then, you know, for Easter's or like mm -hmm. for things like that, my mom would press my hair, curl it. Um, and yeah. Would she press it and then put it like in pigtails or anything or you would just have it out? I would have it out and okay. then once it got kind of frizzy, she'll mm -hmm. put it up like okay. in little ponytails and little braids. So, okay. Yeah. I'm going to kind of, because I'm, since you said you started when you were younger, now I have like a whole lo other little list of questions I want to ask you. <laughs> did it come to a point where you started doing your own hair? And how did that go? Like, did you damage it? Y'all, you know, listen. <laughs> when, Ashley, yeah. Yeah, when Ashley got was able to do her own hair, I was about nine years old. R nine? <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. I don't know if you guys remember like the Barbie Bratz head dolls oh, yeah, with cool. the hair. Mm -hmm. My mom got me that when I was like eight, seven. So I was determined to do my own stuff. So I would make sure I would, I would learn how to braid by myself. I would twist on those hair. So then I, you know, you do it on there. Now it's time to do it on me. So, <laughs> okay. So I was very tender headed growing up. Okay. Super tender headed y'all. Mm -hmm. Like. It was to the point where my mom would have to literally like almost strap me down to the chair because the kitchen part, woo, back here and around here when mm -hmm. she would like, oh, it was a lot. Mm -hmm. But so because I wanted to kind of transition from my mom doing it, I was so intuitive when I was like nine. Mm -hmm. And um, I would do it myself. So I would start to like section, like, you know, my mom would wash it, I would section. Okay. And then I would comb it and like blow dry it a little bit. And then I remember just watching my mom do my sister's hair on how mm -hmm. she would flat iron. So I would start to part and then I would put it on low heat first. Okay. I was oh, like, you knew that at least. I had the flat iron on 450. No, <laughs> that's, no that's literally right after though. Because mm -hmm. I was, yeah. So then my mom would, I mean, I would just start going and start going and like, I just begin myself and then I would begin to like learn how to braid on my own hair and yeah nine uh, years old but now listen it's this thing called clear ice gel okay I've heard of it clear clear ice gel uh -uh. I'm about to show you I gotta pull it up okay but I used to use clear ice gel on my edges I thought I was really doing something mm -hmm. and took my edges out really I remember putting ponytails in and I would put the the gel right on my edges press my own hair I would brush it back, mm -hmm. put in some of those tight ponytails mm -hmm. with the bobos and stuff. <laughs> and not knowing that it's like pulling my yeah. hair, you know? Mm -hmm. And then when you're brushing with that gel, it's like taking it out. Mm -hmm. So I remember yeah. my mom, she saw it, she saw just like this big bald spot here. Mm -hmm. It was really bad. Wow. And she was like, Ashley, we're throwing out all this gel. You're just going to allow it to get back. So mm -hmm. it, after about a month or so, it kind of got back really? to itself. Yeah. What did you do? Just like not my mom made sure I didn't put 
put nothing okay, on it. But you didn't put like any additional oils or? Like pink lotion. Oh, so okay. I used to use pink lotion a lot. Mm -hmm. So making sure I put that on there. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. So I started at nine, hair fallout at like 14 on my edges. That was really some of the starter okay. ways with my hair for okay. sure. But yeah, I started really young and haven't looked back since and then in that journey I started doing my sister's hair okay younger um, so I have two sisters so okay. I'm the middle of two okay yeah so my oldest and my youngest um I still do their hair to this day so Are you like braids wow. or like twists um yeah and then in college when I went to college I would do my friend's hair down the, down the uh hallway and she would pay me and then like I was doing my little like weekend little money mm -hmm. you know doing her hair so I love hair. Like I absolutely love hair. I used to want to be a hairstylist, y'all. It's yeah. That's so crazy. Yeah, we are sisters. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I literally used to want to do. Yeah, hair. I still want to go to cosmetology school, but not yeah. to do hair. I just want to learn about hair. Yeah. So, what is your curl pattern like now? Do you is it heat train where the curls are like loosened? Do you yeah. have heat damage? Do you ever wear your hair in a curly state? I feel like my hair is loose. Now their curls are hmm. a little bit more looser. Um, I don't wear my hair as curly anymore, uh, but I want to kind of do it in the summer. But I think for me, I'm always trying to learn how I can maintain mm -hmm. my curls without my hair getting like, my, my ends getting so yeah. rough, mm -hmm. so quick. Mm -hmm. Like every time I do it, I'm like, but when I do twist outs or braid outs, those are way better for my ends because okay. it's like protective. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I don't wear it out as much, but I, I hope to in the future because I love my mine is way more coily. Okay. Like a little bit coily, wavy. Okay, mine is wavy. It's weird. Yeah, yeah it's like a weird yeah. texture, but yeah, that's my texture for okay. sure. Yeah. And what made you, obviously like your mom, straight hair growing up, but what made you continue to just like maintain your hair in a straight state for the most part? Um, I would say the level of maintenance that it took. It wasn't hard. It was just very like comb through your hair, make sure that it's pliable, and blow it out and press it. Mm -hmm. So I just and it also looked cute for me. Like I really liked it. Um, I remember in high school though when I started playing softball, that was the thing where I was like, you know what? I'm done with this sweat. I'm trying to take it off all my hair. Like so I would wear headbands that would compress the sweat a little oh, bit. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, under my helmets and everything like that, and then. Um, it really works so yeah but yeah just how easy it is for me like that's why I do it okay. and maintain it kind of talked about your hair routine a little bit but like can you go a little bit more in depth in terms of what products do you use and like maybe how long you let certain things sit in there or mm -hmm. okay guys so I'm very old school and I do um panting do you? I I've heard so many good things about pants. I, I just use Pantene, but yeah. yeah. I know a lot of black girls like Pantene. Yeah, but Pantene has gotten, it's weird because over the years, like it would start getting bad reviews and I'm like, Pantene is an A1 day one for me. <laughs> like, I don't know. So I use Pantene deep moisture, okay. um, shampoo and conditioner, revitalizing moisture. Okay. Um, it comes like in the white and gold mm -hmm. bottles. Mm -hmm. I mean, Amazing. I did also use um, the Moroccan oil products mm -hmm. that like were in those cute little like bean type uh, bottles. Uh, but yeah, the one with argan oil was really cool too. Um, I also used before Aveda products. Mm -hmm. So like Aveda, Aveda is way more expensive. Yeah. But they're good. <laughs> they're good. Yeah. So <laughs> That's I use a coin. <laughs> my routine now is Pantene. Okay. With Aveda finishing oil, which is called Brilliant. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, um, I didn't know they had an oil in that mm -hmm. line. Like finishing, line. yeah, I'll just spread it here and like, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so those are my two go to's. I'll do a heat protectant with she, uh, a, a C H I. Oh, okay, okay, she, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, you spray it and like, um, before blow drying and then it heat protects. But yeah, those are the three products that I use for my hair. And then what blow dryer and flat iron do you use? Um, the blow dryer is from, man, it's the gold blow dryer from, goodness, goodness. It's the old school brand, y'all. I have to look it up. The flat iron. Flat iron. Oh, I use Wet to Wavy. It's from Suave, I believe. Okay. Suave. Um, it was given to me by my god sister, and I haven't 
changed it yet. Yeah. What temperature do you like to put your flat iron? On? I put it all the way up there. So yeah. I put it to the so that flat iron goes up to thirty, and I'll go to like twenty eight, twenty nine. Okay. Um, when I first uh. What's it called? Flat iron. Mm -hmm. But another great thing is that I don't flat iron during the weeks. Okay. I'll just only probably touch up like the front pieces, front pieces you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it can like maintain yeah. itself. You wrap your hair at night to like maintain it or you just throw on your bonnet and... I wish I could just throw on a bonnet but I have to make sure it's wrapped. Okay. Um, I, and I wish I could go to sleep just with nothing on but that ain't how this is going to be maintained so you know i also do a silk pillowcase sometimes okay. too um but yeah i wrap it okay oh, how often do you wash your hair it really depends so i'll do my go-to is two weeks every two okay. weeks but sometimes i'm like a plant mm -hmm. so meaning that my hair grows in dirt okay <laughs> so the more my hair is dirty the more my hair can sometimes grow and then i'll do like a I like a four a week honestly because what I'll also do is I'll use like a rosemary oil mm -hmm. um, for my L which is really cool mm -hmm. too and I'll just keep it in there while my oil my natural oils are you know mixing with it and it kind of grows my hair okay. so on a nice time I mean a nice week or month is every two weeks mm -hmm. but if I want to kind of let it sit there and grow within itself I'll do four okay that leads me what was going to be my next question is yeah. How do you retain your length or what products do you feel helps to make your hair grow? Like I know you get trims often. Yeah. That helps. So I would say the biggest thing that helps me to retain hair, uh, to retain length, is not touching it. Okay. Like I think one of the things that we do too much of is manipulating it too much during the week after you get your hair done. Like I think if you're able to get your hair flat ironed or get your hair blown out or whatever you're trying to do get a style that won't allow it to have to be so styled every day like and i think you know just keep your hands out of it another thing is not putting heat to it mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. no heat to it every day um just the front is what i do really uh or if it, the kitchen is kitchen back there <laughs> i'll you know get back there a little bit but um and then also i'll use rosemary oil which is really cool so it's a three-step thing it's more so just not touching it making sure I um, not put a lot of heat, and then rosemary, rosemary oil for the kicker. Okay, how often do you get trimmed? So I'll do that about, I would say eight weeks for me. Every eight weeks? Like eight okay. weeks, yeah. How much do you usually get trimmed off? Um, about an inch or so. Okay. Yeah, like an inch. Do you feel like you can retain length or like grow length getting an inch cut off every eight weeks? I think it I mean, grows your hair, faster. Your hair is really long. Thank you. I'm gonna have you do like a whole 360. Yeah. Like yeah okay but i think we we are like plants so when you go into the garden and everything and you're cutting off those weeds mm -hmm. they kind of like dissipate um or if you cut like a nice root it's going to grow faster i think that's how it is but <laughs> no, no i agree with you yeah mm -hmm. so when i get it cut all the time it kind of grows faster okay because you know it's healthier and um yeah. You don't have that dead weight yeah. holding on and trying to take the nutrients it wants to give your healthy hair. Right, exactly. Do you go to a hair salon? I do. Okay. So, my god sister has a salon. Oh, does um, she? Yeah. Shout her out. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> so, my god sister, she's like a god mom too. Mm -hmm. um, her name is Talitha and she is located in Orland Park, Illinois. Oh. Her salon is called Sage Salon. And, um, she has another salon in Frankfurt, so she has two of them that she owns, and she's been doing my hair since at least 17. Okay. So, yeah, so I'll go to her. Um, I try to go to her like once a month, okay. maybe. And, you know, she uses a beta products only. So, really? yeah. I have to go to her. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to make sure you know. Mm -hmm. um, she uses a beta products only. She's really, really into natural, getting your hair really healthy and natural mm -hmm. so she's all about health about hair so i really kind of got to give it up to her as well because she taught me so many things of how to maintain like about not touching it about not you know putting a lot of heat on it and burning your hair and getting that burnt smell all the time mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so yeah i got a tip for that about the burnt smell yes yeah, so for her tip is making sure your flat irons are clean all the time okay. maybe using rubbing alcohol to clean them 
um and then also um not flattering your hair when it's super dirty okay when it's dirty you know it's dirty <laughs> you're gonna get that smell okay. you know what i'm saying um and so yeah that was my tip her tips for me Cool. Did you get your hair colored by her? I did. Okay, okay. so I recently got kind of like a chocolate this ishness with with her. Mm -hmm. um, what made you color hair? Yeah, so I used to y'all listen. I had blonde before. I had really. Mm -hmm, I had blonde highlights. I had a little bit of reddish before. So this is more of a um, toned down chocolate because I also do. Well, my hair is naturally really really dark and black. Um, so. Yeah, so she just did that actually a month or so ago. Have your products or routine changed since you put color in your hair? Not really. Oh. I think one of the things though that she has taught me is when you get it colored, make sure you deep condition a little bit longer. Okay. So when I put the condition Pantene in, um, I'll go away for about like 25 to 30 minutes, honestly, okay. and then come back and wash it out. Okay. Yeah, rinse, rinse it out. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And maybe we could do a part two or something. Hey, <laughs> yes. Make sure you follow Ashley Mia's channel. I'll make sure to have it linked, but her content is A1. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. See y'all. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work.